Tonight, the head of the Cincinnati Firefighters Union is saying that cutting the fire department is like playing roulette with the lives of citizens. That comment followed a closed door meeting where fire department leaders tried to plan how to keep the public safe if budget cuts claim 120 firefighter jobs. Nine on Your Side reporter Tom McKee is live with how citizens are reacting to this news. Tom? Well, Carol, right now the budget deficit stands at $34 million. But since the parking lease is going to go before voters this November, so called Plan B, with its possible 344 layoffs, is going forward. 120 of those could be firefighters, and that has people here concerned that public safety, citizen safety, could be at risk. As Jackie Cheshire arranged flowers Tuesday at Adrian Durbin Florist in Clifton, she took comfort knowing that Engine 34 of the Cincinnati Fire Department was right across the street. We love them being there. There's a lot of incidents that happen here at the corner of Clifton and Ludlow. It's nice to be able to walk over and get one of the guys. However, the fact that Engine 34 might be cut if firefighter layoffs occur has her and other Clifton merchants concerned. I think that would be a big mistake. Too many people depend on them. That's just one of many scenarios discussed Tuesday at fire headquarters, according to Firefighters Union President Matt Alter, who sat in on the session. Should these layoffs go through on day one, for a fact, a minimum of 12 companies will be closed, which, you know, right, right now that's, that's over 30% of your, of your companies. Alter says he feels that will put the public at risk with greater response times and more brownouts than the five occurring daily right now. It's a terrible analogy, but it's the situation of the house is on fire and the kids are inside and you're the parent and you've got to decide which one, which one do you grab? And that's where you're at. What, who do you protect? Because when you protect one, you're not protecting the other. Back in Clifton, Jackie Cheshire doesn't have budget cutting ideas, just the fact that she hopes that's not a choice that any firefighter has to make in any neighborhood. I really don't know where, what direction to point them in. However, I know closing 34 would be a big mistake. Now, Cincinnati spokesperson Meg Olberding told me the situation is still very, very fluid. They're working to try to get those layoff numbers down and that a budget plan is due to be presented to council in May. Leah Erickson, the budget director, has already said if all 344 layoffs were to go forward, it would require an extra $10 million to cover those costs, driving that budget shortfall to $44 million. So tough budget times ahead. Tom McKean on your side, live downtown. Tough indeed. Thank you, Tom.